Are you ever having a conversation with someone and the person says to you, like, hello, are you listening to me? I feel like you're not listening. I'm giving you a message and it feels like it's going over your head or it's going in one ear and out the other. So it's kind of frustrating, isn't it? Now, sometimes what's happening is that that exact kind of interaction is happening inside of our bodies. What does that mean? So I recently wrote an article um, that talks about anxiety in your body, what it looks like, and explaining psychosomatic stress and different kinds of psychosomatic symptoms. So what is psychosomatic pain or psychosomatic symptoms? So psychosomatic actually comes from a Greek terminology and it refers to the connection between the mind and the body and how um, mental stress and psychological pressures, right, and, and worries that we carry really express themselves in the body as physical illness. So, you know, this has been researched for a number of years because what many practitioners and re many doctors started finding was that um, a large percentage of the patients that were coming in for medical treatment had a lot of medical workups done, and what came back was that in some instances there was nothing medical based, but sometimes there was really intense psychological stress that was causing the body pain, the physical pain, right? So indigestion, um, bloated bellies, constipation, really bad headaches, a feeling of fatigue, insomnia, back pains, right? Really bad back pains. And, and sometimes people have like trembling or a feeling of numbness. And what they said was, we want to really dig deeper into what's going on when the body is actually needing to express when we're not listening to our minds. So I have a suggestion for any of you, if you ever had, you know, like that butterfly in your stomach feeling, or if you noticed that recently you're just not feeling as physically strong or just in touch with yourself, I encourage you to look at, is there something bothering you in your life right now? Right? It could be that you're in a situation where you're not speaking up for yourself. You know, it could be that there's something from the past that's being kicked up. Right? There were two doctors, uh, Dr. Sarno and Dr. Clark, who did a research study, and they found that um, some of the psychosomatic symptoms were related to people's inability to express healthy doses of anger or rage. Right? So... And I don't mean rage in an angry kind of way, but people who have to, you know, keep themselves even keeled and take care of everybody else's needs, and they never had space to really stand up for themselves and express healthy doses of, of anger or upsetness, right? That's what their research came up with. You know, I would add, based on my trainings in trauma, in, you know, the relational theory and attachment theory, and also in the mind-body connection of the somatic focus therapies, what we also find is that sometimes you're going to have really uncomfortable body symptoms when you're carrying around a belief about yourself um, that's kind of robbing the energy or the joy or the possibilities. So it might be a belief you picked up from the past or even recently of, you know, I'm a failure or, um, I'm never enough, or I'm unlovable, or whatever the belief might be, right? I'm not okay. It might be a belief that actually carrying that belief in your mind doesn't just exhaust your mind, it exhausts your body. Because there's this constant interchange, there's this communication that's always happening. And so we want to look at what that's about. That's number one. The other piece is sometimes there's a trauma that's trapped in the body. Right? So if somebody went through some kind of trauma or shocking event or uncomfortable situation um, in their personal life, in their work life, and it kind of got trapped in the body, then sometimes working through that, processing through that, actually will allow the difficult symptoms or the physical symptoms to dissipate. But the body holds on to stress because it's actually communicating, just like you'll tell whoever you're talking to, um, hey, listen up, right? Or whoever you're talking to is saying, hey, listen up. When your body is communicating, I invite you to listen. It might be a small symptom. It might be a big symptom. It might be a pain that you've had all your life, right? People sometimes will call me with like chronic digestive issues, chronic headaches, 
um, body discomfort, a feeling of tension, right? So obviously we always recommend a medical workup, but when those come back clear, then we go and we dive deeper into what's going on. Where's the disconnect between the unconscious, which holds emotions, memories, um, and, and really big needs, and the conscious, which is the part that's rational and just moves forward with their life, right? Because when these two are in sync with each other, your body can just be whole and you're living in a tuned life. When they're not in sync, right? When your emotional part needs you to do something, needs you to set a boundary, needs you to take better care of yourself, needs you to listen to the emotions, and you're not listening for whatever reason, you might be in a um, difficult work situation, you might have somebody toxic in your life, you might, yourself, you might be critical of yourself. But when you have a disagreement between the conscious and the unconscious, you might have symptoms. So the work I would encourage you to do on your own is really getting clear on what's the disconnect and how can I bridge that gap. Sometimes you want to dig in deeper with some kind of therapy. Um, for today, I invite you to just listen in to any communication that your body is sending to you because if it's sending you a message, it's got to be an important one. I hope you have a great day.